Brad Taylor here with Taylor Outdoors Guide Service. We're up here today at River Winds Landing on beautiful Lake Murray, South Carolina. I'm going to share with you a few secrets of how to keep bait alive. Um, what we're going to focus on today is blueback herring, which is what we primarily use for striped bass fishing here on Lake Murray. Um, again, we're up here at River Winds Landing. These are some of our bait tanks that we sell out of. We've got a tank here. It's probably got 30 dozen bluebacks in it. We're gonna talk about how to get these, these bait in your boat into a tank, transport them to fish with throughout the day. It's a pretty simple concept. I know a lot of people struggle with it and we have these questions asked us all the time. How do you keep them alive so well? All you have to do is a few simple steps that'll work just for you. Um, the, tank, the temperature in this tank right now is around 70 degrees, um, which is plenty suitable for these bait fish. You do not wanna put hot water in your tank. Um, to start off with, that's going to shock these bait immediately. Tank here is about 70 degrees, and that's the water that we're going to use in our bait tank aboard the boat. Um, well water is preferred. If you have to use city water, um, you can. You just have to treat it for chlorine and other contaminants. A few things you're going to need. What I run in my boat is a 40 gallon bait tank. It's a filtered aerated system that holds these bait very well. Um, Right here, water softener, water softener salt is something that you're going to have to have. This is a granulated type salt. Um, this right here, I run about a 40 gallon tank on my boat, and the amount of salt that I use on a daily basis. This is a um, a better bait type system here that we use. I use one of these jugs, and I use it about half full of salt in a 40 gallon tank. I fill it up every morning and dump it in. Um, this right here, um, bait made, different type things people call it. This, this is a water conditioner. It says conditions water, moves chlorine, keeps bait, lowers bait loss. Um, this is something that'll help you if you use city water. Put about a tablespoon of this in a 40, 50 gallon tank. It's gonna turn your water blue. Um, it's got a blue type hue to it when you drop it in. It's gonna going to dissolve and turn the water blue. About half of this full of salt, if you city water, dash this, 60 degree water, a 40 gallon tank, you can respectively put up to around 10 dozen of these bait in it and hold it throughout the day. Again, keep your water cold, keep your water clean, salt, bait mate, 